Something dropped on FunkoShop.com today, but it wasn't Pietro. Let's talk about it. So Funko is still playing their trick, <laughs> not dropping Pietro. However, the Funko Pop that they did drop today was Mecha Godzilla, and it made a whole lot of sense because Godzilla vs. Kong came out just days ago. Perfect timing, Funko! But where were you when WandaVision ended where you could have easily dropped Pietro? They must have been pooping. Mecha Godzilla dropping on Funko Shop today wasn't really the big news. The no. big news was Pietro not dropping. No, the big news was that it was almost impossible to find this Funko Pop on Funko Shop unless you had a link from like Funko Finders or Dis Funko. And we're going to go over all of that to include a bunch of comments, as you always like. We do enjoy those. Like seeing people angry, like seeing people flex. We got a whole lot of that. But first, we want to talk about our Patreon. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support this channel. We have three different tiers that you can join, and you can go over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find the best fit for you. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast after this video is concluded. So the strangest thing about today's drop was that Heather sent me the link for the Mecha Godzilla. I had no idea that it had dropped. And Heather, do you want to tell them how you found the Mecha Godzilla? Well, normally I find it with like Funko Finders or Disc Pop because I follow them both. Not today. Okay, do you want to enlighten us and tell us or do you want me to ask you how? Do you no. want to continue looking like a chimpanzee? Like which one? Yeah, you I was do? just making faces at you, uh, seeing when you'd break. That's cool. Okay. Didn't take you long. I was on the website at 12 o'clock, refreshing it like I always do, and all they had were the office t-shirts. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna search Pietro. So I typed in Pietro and Boom! There was Mecha Godzilla. Is that not the biggest joke ever that Funko is pulling on all of us? You type in Pietro now for the new exclusive drops? That's comedy in itself. They haven't dropped the Funko Pop, but if you type in the name, it's gonna pull up the brand new Funko Shop drop. Well, it's not just Pietro. Like, it, it basically said, oh, we couldn't find that, but check these out. But isn't and it, it funny, you... though, that it was the Funko Shop drop? Yeah. Because, yeah. because the, the reason why that's so funny is because I actually went on the webpage, I looked at the new releases, I looked at the exclusives page, I looked at all the different pages that you could look at to find brand new drops, and that Funko Pop was not there. So it isn't like it was on the very front page of Funko.com, it wasn't like it was popping up on the exclusives page. No, you had to dig around to find it. And how ridiculous is that? It has now become a scavenger hunt to find the new drop. Let's just say you're brand new to all this and you want Mecha Godzilla Glow in the Dark from FunkoShop.com and you're waiting for it to drop. There's no way that you would have found it today. No, none. No, no way. You literally have to think outside the box and type in Pietro in the search bar to find it. Well, not just Pietro. Like, you could have searched for anything on the Funko Shop that they don't actually have in stock, and I think it would have showed you, well, we don't have that, but we have this. And it would have popped it up no matter what you searched for? Is that the point? Yeah, I'm like, you're making it sound like you had to specifically type Pietro, but well, you didn't have to. It just seems like something Funko is doing to screw with us. Well, they are screwing with us. It's their favorite thing to do. Are we getting tired of this already? Like... Last week, I was kind of excited that we we're going to continue doing this game of like, where's Pietro? Is it getting old? It's it, it it was old before like the end of March. Of course, I also saw a lot of people posting it on the Gasocast We Hunt Together group on Facebook. If you're not there, you should totally go and join. People were posting it there, and it looked like a lot of the members from Gasocast We Hunt Together were able to get this guy today. It sold out fairly quickly, actually. People were saying 12 minutes, but it seemed much faster than that to me. Yeah, I wasn't timing it. I never timed it either, but it just seemed very fast in comparison to some of the other drops. But it then did restock later on, like hours later. So it restocked and some of you guys were able to get it which was great and it makes me wonder are they going to restock this one again and again and again like they've done with some past drops mm, probably not so we did pull a lot of comments from today's drop from dis funko from funko finders not on funko like on their social media they didn't even post like a photo of it or anything but for the most part people were pretty happy they were happy they were able to get this funko pop but we had a whole lot of flexing like a ridiculous amount of flexing. Why do they do that? I have no idea because they want to go around and flex and talk about how many <laughs> they got. In fact, the most amount of comments I got today were from people saying how many they got. Like this guy said, I acquired six, would be willing to trade one for a Jumbo City of Lights Godzilla. He got six of them. 
Ew. Damn. Wish I got extra of him instead of extra dark side, LOL. Like, come on, man. Damn, glad I got two. Didn't think anybody would want them, but the movie was fire, though. What? People are just happy that they got them because it's sold out. They don't care about the actual pop. Thank God I got two. Can't wait to take them all out and display. Why are you displaying both? Yeah, I mean, I'm not one for spoilers, but I don't remember Mechagodzilla fighting Mechagodzilla. Is this his way of saying, like, I have two and I'm willing to flip one so people will ask him about it instead of just coming straight out and saying he's a flipper? Maybe? I'll have two for sale, trade when they come in, PM me. People are doing deals on Funko Finders and Disfunko. Got four, yay. Yay. Grab six. Cool. So all these people are just so excited that they grabbed more than one of this Funko Pop. So basically there's going to be a ton up for sale. This cool. guy says trade bait or resell for me. Good thing I copped one. Cool. And then we had a lot of people that were explaining why they didn't get it. Instead of just saying, oh, I missed it. They have to give you an entire story of why they missed it. This person was literally watching Godzilla vs. Kong and they missed it. In that moment, they were watching the movie and they missed the Funko Pops. That's, that f***ing sucks. <laughs> this person had a blood test, so they missed it. <laughs> and then, of course, we had people that were very angry, which you have to have every time a drop occurs. Damn, missed it. All right, so you're probably going to want to read this one also here. F at number symbol money sign. It sold out. Oh, well. Okay, not what I was expecting. All right. And then of course, this guy was angry. He says, never even got an email who's releasing. Funko needs to get there together. And then we have this long comment where this guy is basically telling us what the future is gonna look like for Pietro. Go ahead and read it. Why, cause you're bad at reading? I am. All the Pietro stands, what does that mean? I think that's like a slang thing, like an urban dictionary Oh, thing. is it? All the Pietro stands gonna be crying when they don't get the pop, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. I think it would be hilarious if Funko made him a limited 1,000 piece SCCC exclusive pop this summer. Mecha Godzilla sold out fast. I can't only imagine how the Pietro thing will go. Laugh emoji. He can't imagine. He can't imagine that, Heather. Can we figure out what Stan is? Oh yeah, it's based on the Eminem song. A reference to the Eminem song Stan. The song is about an overly obsessed fan who writes the letters to Eminem and ends up driving off a bridge with his pregnant wife because Eminem didn't write him back. The term means a very, very overzealous and obsessed fan of a celebrity band cast of a TV show or movie. Or Funko Pop. Okay, so my two favorite comments is when Funko Finders posted that this guy was up for sale, this person says, nah, restocked on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is my favorite, and Heather, I want you to read this one. Godzilla wears the boner. Honestly, I'd rather Whoa! What? Oh my god. This is a family channel. So the Mega Godzilla wasn't exactly what we wanted. Well, most of us. We want Pietro. And who knows when Pietro is finally going to drop. But it was cool to get a Funko Pop from a movie that just recently dropped. And on top of it, it glows in the dark. And what is cooler than glowing in the dark? Me. Let us know what you think about this Funko Pop. And let us know where's Pietro in the comment section down below. Guys, remember to head over to poppinofftoys.com to check out all their Funko Pops, Funko Sodas, and Funko Mystery Minis. Head over to poppinofftoys.com. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.